What's going on guys? Back again with another great video. So, um, as a lot of you know, I uploaded a video on how to do um, a two candle gap scanner, which kind of helped, uh, would help you find trends as they were happening so you could get in on them. Um, so that went very well and I was planning on getting around to doing a, another video of another scanner that I personally use. Um, and I would call this one my intraday mover scanner, which basically um, scans stocks that are making, you know, significant moves, um, depending on, obviously, the criteria you enter. But um, I'm going to go over how to set that one up. This one's actually going to be a little bit more simple and basic to set up um, in comparison to the video of the three candle gap scanner. So this one's not going to be as extensive. It's actually much more simple to set up. Um, and some of you will probably have an easier time setting it up, but I just want to go ahead and show you some of the stocks that popped up on my scanner today for the intraday mover. Um, so this one right here is ADAD. Um, I mean, you know, it wasn't, it just, you know, just pretty basic. It went up, you know, I think, what is it? It, it finished up 19% on the day. Um, so if you're able to get on this, you may would have made a pretty penny, especially if you took enough shares at, you know, what is this? It started around 29 cents a day. If you got in somewhere around the 20, 30 dollar mark, I mean, with enough shares, you could have made enough money. But for me personally, I wouldn't have taken a trade like this because it only moved up four cents, really. And, you know, the chart pattern, there's not much to go off of. So I personally wouldn't have taken it. But let's just go down the list and you'll see what I mean when I say that the intraday mover scanner is good to have up during your trading because it's going to start notifying you of stocks that are up, you know, X amount of percent. Personally, I run mine at about 5%, so I'll start getting notified as soon as stocks are making 5% or more, um, you know, gains on the day. Um, so let's just go through these stocks, right? So here's one. Um, we'll get some good ones here. It's so like this one, you know, started right around um, 390, touched a 420, um, but it was a really choppy chart. AKG. Um, let's speak about this one today. Um, I made a, mo uh, a video on it already, um, but this was a stock that I played personally. Um, and what I want to point out is that I got in, you know, summer, I, I think it was like 146, got out right up here at the t right at the dip. Um, you know, I waited to see if it was going to bounce back. Um, then I noticed it wasn't, so I went ahead and got out because it looked like it was just going to sell off or we had some shorts coming in to, to push it down. Um, and I also want to give out a shout out to a dude in the Tech Buds group, and I hope I pronounce his name right, but his name is, uh, I believe, Elber Gela Galarga, um, but basically, he used my uh, my two candle gap scanner that I showed how everybody to set up, and he used my two candle gap scanner, and he was able to get in on this stock, the same stock I play today, and he made a $600 profit. So I want to give a shout out to him. So fantastic job. That's awesome. I'm glad my scanner worked out for you. Um, so kudos to you, my man. Um, so let's keep going down the line here. So basically what the scanner is going to do is notify you of stocks that are making moves today. So if I go down the list here, most of these stocks are have already gone up for the day. And you'll notice they're making significant moves for the most part. Um, some of them are choppy. Yes, some of them, you know, look a little better. Um, BIOS, um, BUDZ. So a lot of these stocks are still moving upwards, and if you get in on them, you know you can make some good money. It just depends on which ones you're looking at, right? You don't want to play all of them, or just you know the first one you see. You want to try and get in on the good ones, obviously. Um, DRYS. I mean, look at this guy. It dipped down, and then look at boom. I mean, this thing shot up. So this would have been a nice one to be on. It went from a low of 220 all the way to a high of 272. So, you know, that's a pretty significant move there. DXTR, um, this was a pre-market one I was watching. Didn't end up making any good moves for the most of the day. Um, but you guys get the point. Basically, the scanner is going to notify you of stocks that are, you know, moving upwards on the day. Like, look at this guy. I mean, this was actually a pretty nice setup. Um, so, right, you break... Um, on the one minute, it breaks through the 200 um, 200 day moving average, and then you get a nice spike in volume, and it goes up, and then it pulls back, trades right in the nine moving average, and then boom, nice pullback here. You could have entered there, um, so it was a nice setup. And actually, now that I think about it, I want to go over something real quick. Um, AKG, AKG, the trade I took today, which was just phenomenal. 
But what I want to point out is that the reason this thing went up so much is because it just gapped down recently. So if I back out, uh, let me go out and get into a different chart here. Um, but if you notice, this thing just took a huge dip down, and this is its low right now. I, this is probably like the low over the past year. And so it was at a low, and then the reason it shot up so much today is because, um, let me go to a two-day, three-minute for you first, right? So the reason it shot up so much today is because on its one-minute chart, the 9... Um, the 50 and the 100, is that what I got here? Or what I have, I think I had a nine, a, let me, I think I have a nine, a 20, let me just double check actually. Um, edit studies, yes. So on my chart right now, I got a nine day move exponential, 50 exponential, 20 exponential, 200 exponential, and 100 exponential. Uh, but basically what I'm pointing out is, that the reason this thing moves so much is because it gap down it, it was at like an all-time low for the year and then the 9 the 20 and the 50 all crossed over the 200 day moving average which signals a strong uptrend and that's why you had all this movement of just perfect setups right pop up you know pull back pop up pull back pop up pop up pull back pop up so I traded this boy all the way up today and made really good money on it. Um, so I will be making a movie or a video later on how to find stocks as they're about to make moves like this. Um, I'm just working on the scanner to make sure that it works the way I want it to work before you know I upload a video of it and give it to you guys. Um, so I do have to do a little bit of back testing on it to make sure it is um, you know a quality scanner before I send it out. Um, but let's get to the meat and potatoes. So just like the last video, the last scanner, if you're just, you know, got to go up here into scan. And um, actually, I believe I already have it up. Let me double check. Um, loads personal. Intraday movers. Yep, so this is it. And it's pretty basic, right? So like we've been over before, um, once you pop into the scan chart or the scan screen, it is most likely going to give you three categories you can choose from. From there, you want to start off with your price, which is going to be last. You just click into here. You'll click last. The price for stocks you're going to search for, minimum to your maximum you're willing to pay. Volume, you can set this to 500,000, 200,000, 100,000. Like I said in my previous video, the lower you make the volume, the more stocks you'll pick up, which means you're going to have to sift through more stocks to find the quality stocks. So if you set it lower, you'll get more options. If you set it higher, you'll get less options. So you can play around with that and determine what works best for you. I cannot personally speak for everyone. Like right now I have it at 250,000. Um, sometimes I have it at 500,000. It just depends on you know the what I'm looking for and how I wanna play for the day. Next, you'll go down to your third category, which will be percent change. So this is a pretty basic scanner, um, but it does help, and you can pick up a lot of good stocks on it. Um, so you're going to have percent change in this bottom category, and then you're going to want to have a minimum. Um, you can change this, like the volume, you can change this too. You could have it at 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. The bigger the percent, you know, it's just more of like, uh, how do I say it? It's more of... Um, there's more strength behind it. If stocks are moving up 5%, there's a reason that they're starting to move 5%. If a stock moves 1% or 2%, it could just be a natural fluctuation. But when stocks are going up 5%, there's usually a reason. You know, there's a lot of people looking at it. There's volume. There's buying power. You know, people are interested in that stock for whatever reason. Not all of them will be, you know, perfect A setups. Some of them will just be, you know, kind of crappy and they may be choppy all day but at least you're getting notified of stocks that are going up by five percent you can change this to two percent or three percent and you'll get notified a little earlier um, but you know like I said you're gonna determine what works best for you and how you want to use that and at the end of the day um, and you're gonna leave your volume and you're gonna leave your percent change on the right side of the screen blank and empty 
as I said before, you don't want to put a cap on the amount of volume you have coming into a stock, and you don't want to put a cap on the amount of percent you know that can come into a stock either. And then you go down here and you will, um, and make sure this is a send, or well, this is basically for the scan. This doesn't really matter. And then you'll hit scan, and then it'll come up with all these guys that you can pick from. Uh, but this is, you know, after the market. I'm scanning this right now. But during the day, it will start off blank. During the day, when you're in your regular screen and you're on your charts, and let me pull my tab over. When you're in your charts, this area is where I have the intraday mover scanner, and this will be blank until the trading day starts and stock starts and stocks start to make moves. Um, so it's not going to be there's not going to be stocks there until the trading day actually starts and until stocks actually start making moves that meet the criteria on your scanner. So once if your criteria is set to 250,000 um, shares of volume and it's set to you know. Uh, how do I say it? It's set to uh, like 5% you know, or more, you're not going to get notified until a stock is trading on 250,000 shares of volume and it goes up by at least 5% or else you're not going to be notified. And um, so like I said, when you do this, you can set up your scanner and you go to this little guy right here, you click whatever color you want and then you come over to your chart and you click this and if you match the colors, like I do have it here, then you can just click on these guys or on the stock, the tickers themselves, and you'll start popping up. You'll start popping up, uh, popping up the stocks from your watch list onto your uh, your charts. Um, so it's a pretty basic scanner, and it works really, really well. Um, so as I said before, I will keep making these videos for you guys, and um, I will also put up some more videos of scanners that I'm definitely gonna um, that you'll find useful and that work really well. I just want to back test a few. Um, want to back test one I'm working on that should be able to make us all a pretty penny. But uh, as I said, I want to back test it first and make sure it's completely reliable before I post it in the TechBud Solutions group. Um, so thank you to all who watch and like and post, uh, you know, and comment on my videos. I really do appreciate it, and that's uh, part of the reason why I make them. Um, so thanks, guys, and happy trading, and hope everybody makes some money on Friday.